In today's society, we see a lot of hate and oppression going on. We see a, an increase in hate groups, but luckily we are starting to see a large rise in activism and those who believe in full equality for all. One of the many people who believes in full equality for all is Chimamanda Adichie, a Nigerian novelist and a feminist activist who writes several novels and has participated in a lot of TED Talks addressing these issues. When she was only 10 years old, she has been inspired by the book, Things Fall Apart, written by Chima Achebe. In Things Fall Apart, Chima Achebe talks about the true life of a Nigerian tribe. Uh, uh, Chimamanda has seen a lot of inspiration from this novel as it truly represents what it means to be a Nigerian and what it means to be an African. She grabs the concept of this novel and produces two more novels that are a lot there that shows a lot of similarities between uh, Things Fall Apart and her novels. These novels being Half of a Yellow Sun and Purple Hibiscus. These two novels talks a lot of what it means to be a Nigerian and what it means to be an African and what it means to finally have more representation of Africans in literature. She's also ha she also has a, a popular book named Americana where she addresses a lot of these racial issues. She has never seen herself as black growing up in Nigeria, but has noticed that she is black in the United States. And the reason is, is that here in the United States, we have such a large emphasis on determining what our race is and what it means to be in that race. She believes that this is a large issue in the United States and brings forth a lot of activism that partakes in understanding what it means to be a specific race and what it means to have more representation of that race. Not only has she talked a lot about racial equality and racial um, uh, mentioning of races in her novels, she also mentions a lot of gender equality and gender issues in her novels. In a short story of Dear Ijoele, or Feminist Manifesto and 15 Suggestions, she talks a lot about what it means to be a woman growing up and how to raise feminist ch uh, children. She talks a lot about how becoming a girl is never uh, an answer to anything and how we should go ahead and thrive with ourselves and not depend on anybody else to thrive. She has also sp uh, had a lot of TED Talks mentioning of these uh, racial issues and gender issues. For example, during a TED Talk, uh, um, the TED Talk of We Should All Become Feminists, she mentions a lot of what it means to be a feminist and how to spread the word of feminism to society. And because of this TED Talk in London in 2012, shortly after, Time Magazine has seen her as the top 100 most influential people in the world, seeing that she has caused a lot of groundbreaking work and has caused a lot of inspiration to others to become feminist and to become more aware of race issues in society. We also see more inspiration coming from other parts of the world. For, for example, in Sweden, where every 16 year old in 2015 has received her book of We Should All Become Feminists. Also, during a fashion show uh, from Dior, they've actually, um, um, they've actually placed her slogan of We Should All Become Feminists on her t-shirts in the spring of 2017. We are seeing a lot of groundbreaking work that she has been doing to society and helping others inspire to become more aware of these issues. During her TED Talk of A Danger of a Single Story, she brings even more awareness into the issue of race inequality and misrepresentation of races in society. This TED Talk has been seen as one of the most viewed TED Talks in their history because of its groundbreaking information and of its inspiring uh, words that it has to bring on this issue that has not been talked about much in the past. And because of this speech, a lot of other articles came out to say that this is the most viewed TED Talk of all time, how this is a must watch TED Talk, and how this TED Talk will change your life. We've also seen an interview from the Wall Street Journal talking several um, months after her We Should All Become Feminists 
a TED Talk and also a Danger of the Same Story TED Talk, where she believes that it was important to have the representations of Nigerians and have the representations of Africans in these novels to help clear some misunderstandings of what being an African is. She brings true culture and true authentic meaning of the word African into her novels. She is seen as very inspiring to other Africans in her novels. As for example, in the Beyonce song, Flawless, she is seen as a true feminist for having a part of her We Should All Become Feminist novel into the song. Uh, even though she began with at 10 years old, just having a small piece of inspiration in her from a book, we've seen her truly grow and we've seen her truly aspire to be the African activist that she is today, the gender rights activist that she is today. And even though she is very successful, we must also remember how small she began doing all of this. And we should go ahead and partake in this activism that she was following the lead of. We should go ahead and grab that inspiration that we have and grow ourselves to become the activists that we are today and pass on the torch that Chimamanda has given us to the next generation. Thank you. Thank you.